Lesson 1. Where are you from? Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you speak English? A little. Are you Indian? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Delhi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Lesson 2. Do you speak English? Excuse me. Are you American? What's your name? My name is Gia Kapoor. Do you speak English? A little, but not very well. How long have you been here? Six months. What do you do for work? I'm a student. How about you? I am English teacher. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you too. Lesson 3. What's your name? Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Billy. What's yours? Millie. Are you a new admission? Yes, ma'am. Where did you study before? In Chandigarh. You speak English very well. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? Sure, it's 2 p.m. What did you say? I said it's 2 p.m. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Lesson 4. Ask directions. Hi, John. Hello, Susan. What's up? I'm looking for the airport. Can you tell me how to get there? No, sorry, I don't know. I think I take the subway to the airport. Do you know where the subway is? Sure, it's over there. Where? I don't see it. Across the street. Oh, I see it now. Thanks. No problem. Do you know if there's a restroom around here? Yes, there's one here. It's near the supermarket. How far from here? It's near about one kilometer from here. Okay, thanks. No problem. Bye. Bye. Lesson 5. I'm hungry. Hi Ellie, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Okay, what do you want to do? I'm hungry, I'd like to eat something. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to South Indian restaurant. What kind of South Indian food do you like? I like masala dosa. Do you like masala dosa? No, I don't. But I like idli sambar. Lesson 6. Do you want something to drink? Dolly, do you want something to eat? No. I'm full. Do you want something to drink? Yes, I'd like some coffee. Sorry, I don't have coffee. Oh, that's okay. I will have a glass of water. A small glass or a big one? Small, please. Here you are. Thanks. Lesson 7. That's too late. Dolly, would you like to get something to eat with me? Okay, when? At 10 o'clock. 10 in the morning? No, at night. Sorry, that's too late. I usually go to bed around 10 p.m. How about 4 p.m.? No, that's too early. I'll still be at work then. How about 6 p.m.? That's fine. Okay, see you then. All right, bye. Lesson 8. Choosing a time to meet. Hi, Jenny. Would you like to have a dinner with me? Yes, that would be nice. When do you want to go? Is today okay for you? Sorry, I can't go today. What about tomorrow night? That's fine. What time? Is 10 p.m. all right? I think that's too late. Is 8 p.m. okay? Yes, that's good. Where would you like to go? The Italian restaurant at King Street. Oh, I don't like that restaurant. I don't want to go there. How about the Indian restaurant next to it? Okay, I like that place. Lesson 9. When do you want to go? Hi, Mark. Hi. What are you planning to do today? I'm not sure yet. Would you like to have lunch with me? Yeah, when? Is 12 o'clock okay for you? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you repeat that again, please? I said 12 p.m. Oh, I'm busy then. Can we go a little later? Okay, how about 1 p.m.? Okay, where? How about the Red Fox restaurant? Oh, where is that? It's on Queens Road. Okay, I will meet you there. Lesson 10. Ordering food. Hello sir, welcome to the Red Fox restaurant. How many? Well, this way. Please have a seat. Your waiter will be with you in a moment. Okay, thanks. Hello sir, would you like to order now? Yes, please. What would you like to drink? What do you have? We have mineral water, plain water, juice, soft drinks, shakes, fruit beer, tea and coffee. I'll have a mineral water bottle please. Okay sir, what would you like to eat? I'll have a grilled sandwich with garlic bread and a bowl of vegetable soup. Okay, sir. What's for dessert? I'd like some fruits. Lesson 11. Now or later. Hi, John. Where are you going? Hi, I'm going to the store. I need to buy something. 
Really, I need to go to the store too. Would you like to come with me? Yeah, let's go together. Would you like to go now or later? Now. What? Now would be better. Okay, let's go. Should we walk? No, it's too far from here. Let's drive. Lesson 12. Do you have enough money? Hi Maria, what are you going to do today? I'm going shopping. Will you buy a pizza for me at the store? Okay. Do you have enough money? I'm not sure. How much do you have? 500 rupees. Do you think that's enough? That's not very much. I think it's okay. I also have two credit cards. Let me give you another 500 rupees. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. Lesson 13. How have you been? Hi Millie. Hello Mark. How have you been? Not too good. Why? I'm sick. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's not serious. How the weather out there? Sunny some clouds. Oh, I like this weather. That's good. How's your mom? She's good. Is she in Chandigarh now? No, she's not here yet. I see. Okay, then I have to go now. Please tell your brother I said hi. Okay, I will talk to you later. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Lesson 14. Introducing a friend. Hi Mark, this is my friend Jennifer. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Jennifer, what do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Oh wow, where do you work? Globe Hospital in Delhi. What do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you teach? I teach English. Where? At a high school in Chandigarh. That's nice. How old are you? I'm 35. Lesson 15. Buying a dress. Excuse me. Hello ma'am, may I help you? Yes, can I see that shirt please? Sure, here it is. How much does it cost? 2,499 only. 2,499, that's too much. How about this one? This is on 30% sale. I don't like that one. How about the one next to the black jeans? It's very similar to the one you like. That's nice. How much is it? It's $14.99 only. That'll be fine. Is this color okay, or would you like a different color? That blue one's fine. Do you any more of these shirts? Yes. How many do you want? I'll take one more. Black one is fine. Have you this in a smaller size? Let me see, ma'am. No, we don't have smaller size in it. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Is that a good fit? It's just right. Are these dresses on sale? Yes, they are both on 20% off. Is there anything else? Will you show me some blue jeans? Yes, ma'am. Is this also on sale? Yes, ma'am. It's on 10% off. Do you want anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Do you accept credit card? Sorry, but we take cash only. Do you know how far the ATM is? It's near about 1 kilometer from here. How much money do you have? Not much, only 2,000 rupees. Can I give you the rest money tomorrow? No ma'am. How late are you open? We close at 10 o'clock. Okay fine, I will come back and buy it. Okay ma'am. Lesson 16. Asking about location. Excuse me, I'm looking for Taj Hotel. Do you know where it is? Sure, it's down this street on the right. Is it far from here? Not no, it's not far. How far is it? Near about one kilometer and a half. How long does it take to get there? Ten minutes or so. Is it close to the temple? Yes, it's very close. The temple is next to the hotel. You can walk there. Thanks a lot. Lesson 17. Do you know the address? Excuse me, do you know how to get to the mall? Sure, go straight for about a mile, then turn right at the signal, the mall will be on your left. Do you know the address? Yes, the address is 232 Kings Road. Can you write it down for me, please? Sure, no problem. Is it faster if I take Golden Avenue? No, that way is longer. There are more stop lights on that street. I think you are right, thanks. Okay. Lesson 18. Vacation to Singapore. What's today's date? It's December 4th. When are you going to vacation? I'm leaving on Saturday night. We're going to Singapore. Really? The day after tomorrow? That's very soon. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. It is visible on your face. Take care of yourself there. Sure. How long are you going to stay there? Near about one month. 
Great. When are you coming back? I'm coming back in the next month. All right. Have a safe and nice trip. Thanks. Lesson 19. Who is that lady? Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Do you know who is that lady? Yes, that's Minnie, Mr. Albert's wife. What does she do for work? She's a lawyer. How old she is? Near about 27, 28 years old. Is she American? No, but she speaks English fluently. She's really tall and beautiful. Do you know her? Yes, I know her. She's my friend. Who's that man standing next to her? Which man? That tall guy on her left. What's his name? Oh, that's Mr. Albert. Her husband. He's also very good looking. Yeah, both compliment to each other. And who's that man next to him? Oh, he's his younger brother. He is so handsome and good looking. Does he come from abroad? I don't know. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I think my brother does. Is he married? No, he's not. I remember now. I've met him before. Lesson 20. Common questions. Mark, do you know how to speak English? Yes. Where did you learn? I learned in college. How long have you been in the U.S.? Two weeks. Is your wife with you? Yes, she just got here yesterday. Have you been to New York before? No, I have never been there. Have you ever been to Canada? Yes, I went there once on a business trip. Lesson 21. Supermarket is closed. Hi Jenny, I am going to the supermarket. Do you want to come with me? I think the supermarket is closed now. Oh, when does it close? It closes at 6 o'clock on Sundays. That's too bad. Don't worry, we can go tomorrow morning. It opens at 9 o'clock. Alright, what do you want to do now? Let's take a walk for a half an hour. My friend will be here at 8 o'clock and then we can all go out for a dinner. Where does she live? She lives in Golden Avenue. How long has she lived there? I think, she's lived there for about 8 years. That's a long time, where did she live before that? Delhi. Lesson 22. Do you have any children? Hi John. Hello. Let me know, do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids. A boy and a girl. What are their names? Millie and Billy. How old are they? Millie is 20 and Billy is 12. Are they in school? Millie works in a multinational company, and Billy goes to college in Delhi. What does Billy study? He studies English. Is he here now? No, he's at school. Lesson 23. Help in pronunciation. Maria, do you like studying English? Yes, ma'am. I like studying English and I can read well, but speaking can be difficult. It's not that bad. If you talk to your friends every day, you'll learn more quickly. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you want to know? I have my book from class here. How do you say this word? Smartwatch. Sorry, I don't understand. What does that mean? Smartwatch. A smartwatch is a wearable computing device that closely resembles a wristwatch or other timekeeping device. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. Can you say it again? Smartwatch. Smartwatch. Did I pronounce it correctly? Yes, that's right. That's very good. Thanks and this word. How do you pronounce this? That word is pronounced, listen. Listen, thanks a lot. You are a very good teacher. Oh, thanks for your compliment. Lesson 24. I lost my wallet. Hi, how's it going? Not good, I lost my wallet. Oh, that's so bad. Was it stolen? I think, it came out of my pocket when I was in a bus. Is there anything I can do for you? Can I borrow some money from you? Sure, definitely. How much money do you need? Near about 2,000 rupees. Okay, that's no problem. I will give you. Thanks, I'll pay you back on Monday. Oh, that'll be fine. Here you are. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some fruits and juice and then I'm going to the hospital. Hospital? But why? My friend had an accident yesterday. He is in the hospital. Is he fine now? Yes. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Okay, I'll wait for you. Thanks. Lesson 25. Family trip. Hi Maria, what have you been up to lately? I went on a trip with my family last month. Really? Where did you go? We went to Europe. What cities did you go to? London, Paris and many other smaller cities. Did you go to Spain? No, 
We didn't go there. I'd like to go there next time. I think this summers is a good time to visit and explore Spain. It's a beautiful place and people there are very nice. That's what I've heard. I went there last year. If you want I can give you some information I have about the city. Thanks. Lesson 26. I went shopping. Jenny, what do you do today? I went for shopping. Did you buy anything? Yes, I bought lots of things. What did you buy? I bought this jacket. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very pretty. I like it. From where did you buy this? At the High Street Mall on Kings Avenue. Was it expensive? No mom, it was not expensive. It was on 50% sale. That's very cheap. Yeah mom, I know it was a very awesome deal. Did you buy anything else? I had to buy, but I had a very less money. Never mind, buy it some other time. Lesson 27. What kind of music do you like? Hi Billy, how are you? I'm fine and you? Oh I'm perfectly fine, thanks. What are you doing? I'm listening some music. Oh, that's nice. Billy, what kind of music do you like? All kind, but mostly classical and folk. Why? I have a tickets to the concert for two people. Do you want to go with me? What kind of music is it? Classical. When is it? At 8.30 tonight. Oh, I'd like to go. Do you think we should have dinner first? Okay, that's a good idea. Let's eat at the restaurant across the street from our apartment. Oh I think I know that place you mean. Last week we ate there, am I right? Yeah of course, you are right. You have a very good memory. Lesson 28. Going to the library. Hi. Hello. Would you like to go to the library with me? Okay, do you think we can go and buy a magazine first? Okay fine, first we'll go to buy a magazine and then we'll go to the library. Are we going to walk or drive? The weather is really very good today, let's walk. The weather is really very nice but I think it's supposed to be rain this evening. Okay, then let's go in a car. Is your sister come with us? No, she's still sleeping. How do we get to the library from here? It's straight down this road on the right, next to the mall. It takes about 15 minutes. Lesson 29. Making phone calls. Hello, good morning. Who's speaking? I'm John, I'm so sorry that I made such early phone call. It's okay, who do you wish to talk to? Can I talk to Jenny? Yes, it's Jenny speaking. Oh sorry, I'm afraid, I won't attend the meeting this morning. Last night I had a fever that's why. Is there any important regarding that meeting? Don't worry about the meeting. You'd better go see a doctor. I wish you will be well soon. Thanks Jenny, bye. Get well soon, bye bye. Lesson 30. Where do your parents live? Hi Minnie, are you going to home in these holidays? No, not this time. I have a lot of pending work to do. Where do your parents live? My mom lives in Mumbai. How about your father? I don't know where my dad is. What do you mean by that? Two years ago my parents were divorced. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your mother is still working? No, she's retired from school. Do you have any family here? Yes, one of my cousin live here and my aunt and uncle also live here. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have a younger brother who studied at Delhi and elder sister who married and well settled in Chandigarh. Lesson 31. In a boutique. Hello ma'am, how may I help you? Hello, I'm looking for jacket. I like this one, but need in denims. What size do you need? I need large size, please. Okay ma'am, let me check. Here it is. Can you try it, ma'am? Yeah, where's the changing room? That way, ma'am. Does it fit? No, the sleeves are too long for me and its length is too long. I think it's a larger size for me. I'll bring you another size. Try this one, ma'am. This is too short and it's too tight around the shoulders. Oh, would you like to try something else? Yes, I'd like to try some shirts, too. This one is my favorite design and color. Let's see if it fits me. It fits me perfectly, but this shirt is too expensive. I forget to mention we have a discount on it, just for today. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, I'll take it. Lesson 31. 
Can you help me to find few things? Hi Jenny, thanks for coming. I couldn't find my books and glasses. I can't see anything. Can you help me to find few things, please? No problem. Firstly, what are you looking for? My smartwatch, do you see it? Yes, your smartwatch is on the table with your phone. I don't find my book. Where's my book? Which one? My story book. It's in your bed's side table with your glasses. Can you see my pen and pencil? They both are lying under your bed. Oh, but that's not a pen. That's a marker. Oh, sorry. There's a pen behind the lamp. How about my laptop bag? Do you know where that is? It's between your quilt and pillow. Where's my car's key? It is on the dressing table. I don't see it. Oh sorry, I made a mistake. It's on the TV. Okay thanks, love you. Bye. Bye, take care of yourself. Lesson 32. Paying for lunch. Excuse me. Bill please. Sure ma'am. How is everything? Oh, it's very nice. Thank you. Would you like this to go? Yes please, can you pack this leftover? Sure ma'am, no problem. Here you are. That'll be 758 rupees. Do you take credit cards? Yes, we accept all types of cards. How would you like to pay, ma'am? By card. Here you are. Thanks, I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. Please visit again. Lesson 33. Buying a plane ticket. Hello mom, how may I help you? I'd like to buy a ticket to London. Would you like to pay one way or round trip? Round trip. When will you be leaving? When does the next plane leave? In about three hours. I'd like a ticket for that flight, please. First class or coach? First class. Please wait ma'am, let me check the availability. I'm sorry ma'am, tickets for first class for that flight are sold out. Do you prefer coach? No, how about the one after that? Let me check ma'am, yes ma'am, that one has seats available. Would you like me to reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. That'll be 55,000 rupees. Okay. How would you like to pay by cash or card? By cash. Here you are. Thank you. Here's your change, mom. Have a safe flight. Lesson 34. Putting things in order. Jennifer, can you please help me clean the table before we go out for a walk? Sure, mom. Where should I put these plates? Which plates? The blue one. Put them in the cupboard. How about these fruits and desert? Put them in the refrigerator. And those books? What should I do with them? Bring those books in your room and put them on the study table. How about this pen? Give it to me. I need to use it. What do you want me to do with that paper over there? You can throw it in a bin. I don't need it anymore. Mom, the bin is full. Okay, then please put it in a bag and take it outside. Okay, now what? I think we're finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Okay, mom. Lesson 35. At the restaurant. This looks like a nice restaurant. Yes, it is. I come here all the time for my meetings. Can you pass me a menu, please? Sure, what are you going to like to drink? I'm going to have a glass of wine and what about you? I think I'll have a glass of beer. Do you want to order starters first? Not really, maybe we can order some bread. Okay, what are you going to have to eat? I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. Can you recommend something special? Sure, I've had the pizza and pasta before. They're both very good in taste. I think, I'll have the pasta. What are you going to have? I'm not that hungry. I think, I'm just going to have a salad. I'm just going to the washroom. When the waiter come, will you order for me? Sure, no problem. Lesson 36. Finding a convenience store. John, do you know where's the closest ATM? It's not so far. Do you see that red brick building over there? Which one? The big one or small one? The small one. Yes, I can see it. It's right next to it, on the left. Do you know if there's a convenience store around here? I think, there's one around here. The closest one is on King's Road, but I think that's probably closed now. I really need to get some things before I leave. Well, you could go straight to the main market. There are a lot of stores that are open 24 hours a day. Can I take a subway to get there? Yes, but that'll probably take about half an hour. You should just take a cab. Won't that be expensive? No, from here it's near about 100 rupees. Lesson 37. 
Geography and directions. Ma'am, where's Canada? Billy, look on your map. Can you show me on the map? Sure. Look here. Canada is in north of the United States. Oh, I see. Where's the Mexico? Mexico is in south of the United States. How about Connecticut? Where's that? Connecticut is in east of the New York. Okay, where's Los Angeles? Los Angeles is in California. It's southeast of San Francisco. Lesson 39. I ate at the hotel. Hello, Dad. How are you? Hi, Jenny. Hope all of you enjoying your vacation. Yes, Dad. How's Mom? Is she fine? Oh, she's perfectly all right. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes, Dad. I ate at the hotel with my daughters and husband. Oh, they have good food there. What did you have? I had cereals and a cup of coffee. Kids ate their favorite food pasta and pizza. How was it? The food did not taste very good and I don't feel well now. That's too bad. Do you want to take a break? No, I'm going to go back to the hotel at the lunchtime to take some rest. You can cancel your vacation and come back home. No, that's okay dad. I think if I rest for a little while I'll better feel. Okay, take care bye. Have some rest. Okay dad, love you, bye. Give my love to mom. I will. Lesson 40. Going to the movie. Jenny, what do you want to do tonight? I'd like to go to see the movie. I heard Joker movie is playing in the movie theater. Oh, I've heard that's a good movie. What time does it start? 7.30 p.m. It's a long movie. I think it lasts about three hours. Will you come and pick me up or I can pick you? What time? I think we should get there early because we still have to buy tickets. Should I book the show online? Oh, that's a great idea. Okay then, pick me near about at 6.30 p.m. Yes, that'll be fine. I'll meet you at your house at 6 p.m. Do you want to get something to eat before the movie? I'm not sure if there will be enough time for that. We can have popcorn and burger at the theater if you want. I don't like the popcorn they have there. I think they put too much salt on it. Okay, after watching movie shall we eat our dinner out? Okay, fine. Done. Okay then, I'll pick you up at 6 p.m. Bye. Bye. Lesson 41. The food tastes great. How do you like the food? It tastes really great. Did you cook it like this at home? Yes, I made it yesterday. Would you like some more? Okay, just a little though, I'm really full. Would you like some soup? What kind is it? Creamy tomato. Have you had that before? No, this is my first time. How does it taste? It's good, try it. Oh wow, it's really very good. I told you. Do you want some desert or something else? No, I'm really full. Lesson 42. Helping a friend move. Millie, will you help me take these things to the car? Okay, which car do you want me to put them in? Bring them to my car. Which one is yours? The black polo in front of the I-20. What should I take first? That dinner set over there, but please be careful with it. It was a gift from my mother-in-law. Don't worry, I won't drop it. Wow, it's really very heavy. I don't think I can move it by myself. Let me help you with that. I don't want you to hurt your back. Where are you taking all this stuff? Didn't I tell you? We are moving to Chandigarh. You are moving now. I knew you were moving from here, but you said you were moving next month. Yes. That's true, but my husband found a new apartment on the internet and he wants to move right away. Ooh, you are a very good friend of mine. I think I really miss you a lot. Lesson 43. Visiting family. Millie, your husband has a really nice car. Thanks, it's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Where are you going today? We are going to visit my sister's house in the city. I didn't know your sister lives in the city. When did she move there? A year ago. She lives in an apartment on Queen's Street. I see, it's almost 6.30 p.m., don't you think there will be a lot of traffic? Oh, we're not driving. We're going to take subway. The subway takes about 15 minutes. Yes, but it can be very crowded around this time. I always feel uncomfortable taking the subway. I take the subway to work every day. So, I'm used to it now. Doesn't your parents live in the city? Yes, they lived there for about 10 years. I remember, 
when they moved there. Lesson 44. Looking at vacation pictures. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Jenny, I heard you took a trip to Mumbai. Is that right? Yeah, Dad. I just got back this morning. That sounds really nice. What did you do there? Well, we were only there for four days, so we didn't do so much. We went shopping and went out for dinner few times. We also went to see the movie. We saw beautiful temples there. Did you take any pictures? Yes, I have them with me. Do you want to look at them? Sure, I love looking at pictures. This one is of my husband and me on the beach. This is when we went to see the temples. This one is our daughter standing next to the statue. Your daughter looks just like you. I know dad, she looks like me. Where was this picture taken? That picture taken at the hotel before we left. Did you have time to go to your aunt's house? No dad, not this time. We went there last time. It looks like you all had a very good time. Yeah dad, it was a lot of fun. Lesson 45. Ordering flowers. Good morning ma'am, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to order some flowers. Who are they for? They are for my husband. His name is Albert Johnson. What kind of flowers would you like? I don't know. I don't know too much about flowers. Can you recommend something? Okay, no problem mom. What's the reason you are sending him flowers? Yeah sure, today is our wedding anniversary and he forgot as usual. Congratulations mom. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, sure. If he forgot his wedding anniversary then why are you sending him these flowers? Because this is my way to reminding him. Good. Do you know what kind of flowers he like? I'm not sure. I know I should know that, but I can't remember right now. Well, they're for your husband so, I think you should give him roses. Yeah, you are right. Roses will be fine. What color? It's our anniversary so, I think red would be nice. Do you want to pick them or should I deliver them? Can you deliver them please? What's the address? 246, Tower Complex. How many roses do you want to use in the bouquet? I think 500 will be fine. How much for this? Mom, it's 2000 rupees including delivery charges. Okay fine, I pay you online. Alright mom, they'll be delivered there within one hour. Thanks for orderhood ma'am, have a nice day. Thanks. Lesson 46. Leaving a message. Hi. Hello, is Minnie there please? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Is this 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, 3, 8, 1, 2, 3? Yes, who are you looking for again? Minnie Albert Johnson. Oh, I thought you said Muley. Sorry about that. This is right number, but Minnie is not here right now. Do you know where she went? She went to the store to buy some stationery. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, would you please tell her Jenny called. Hi Jenny, this is her roommate Maria. I met you a couple of months ago at the Minnie's birthday party. Oh yes, I remember. How are you? Good, Minnie will be back in about 15 minutes. I'll tell her you called. Okay thanks, bye. Bye. Lesson 47. Talking about the weather. Hi. Hello Maria, it's Kelly. Hi Kelly. How's the weather outside today? Oh, it's really very cold outside. It snowed all day. What's the temperature outside? It is 31 degree now. It was even colder this morning. Have you heard what the weather is going to be like tomorrow? I was watching the news little earlier. They said it's probably going to snow tomorrow. I really don't like the winters. I wish it were summer all the time. How's the weather where you are? It's not too bad, but it's pretty cold here too. It was about 40 today and it rained this afternoon. I heard it's going to be a little warmer tomorrow. Lesson 48. Making plans. Mark, it's almost Christmas. What are you doing this weekend? Nothing special, just working. Why do you ask? Well, I still haven't finished my Christmas shopping. Do you want to go Christmas shopping with me this weekend? I'd like to, but I'm not sure. I have a lot of pending work in the office. Why don't we go on this Wednesday? My boss is not here that day. So, I can manage. Wednesday is not good. I have a very important meeting on that day. Okay, let's try to go this weekend. Okay, alright. Lesson 49. Meeting a friend. Hi. Hello Jenny. Sorry, 
I'm late. Oh, that's okay, no problem. What are you doing here? Just looking at some books on how to learn English. Oh, but you speak English very well. I was not looking books for myself. It's for my students. Oh, do you want to get something to eat later? No, I'm still full from lunch. Okay then, shall we go for the movie theater? Let's go. Lesson 50. I'm a student. Billy, what do you do for work? I'm still a student. What school do you go to? Delhi University. That's good. What do you study? I'm studying in arts. My major subject is English. How long have you been studying English? It's near about seven years. That's a very long time. Yeah, I started to learn English when I was in school. No wonder, your English is very good. Actually, it's not that good. I can read but I can't speak very well. I haven't had a lot of chances to practice. I see, talking with other people is very important. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here. I'm having a party tonight at my house. You should come. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come. Lesson 51. Studying for exams. Hi Jenny. Hello Joe. Good to see you again. Why are you looking so tired? I don't sleep much last night. Why? I stayed up until 3 a.m. studying for an exam. I was up late last night too. Are you back to Chandigarh after your graduation? I think so. After I graduate I'll probably go back to home, take a break for a month or two and then try to get a job. Do you know where you'd like to work? Not yet, but maybe I want to be an English translator. That sounds good and very cool. I'd like to be a translator too, but I don't think my English is good enough. Don't worry about that. Your English is better than most of my friends. Thanks. Where are you going now? I'm going to study at the library. I have to take an exam tomorrow. Me too. How late does the library stay open? I think it's open until 11 p.m. Okay. Wish you good luck. You too. Lesson 52. Did you get my message? Hello. Hi Maria. It's Mark. Hello. How are you? Good. I called you yesterday. Did you get my message? Oh yeah, I was going to the store when you called. I tried to call you back, but I think your phone was off. No problem. I wanted to remind you that my sister is getting married next week. You are still coming to the wedding. Right? Is that next week? Time flies so soon. Yes, did you forget? No, of course not. I already bought them a present. That's good. I want to invite Jenny also. Next time you see her, can you tell her for me? Does she know your sister? Yes, they might have gone to the same company or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how they know each other. Are we all going to drive together? Yes, of course. You both are come to my house and from there we all go to the palace. Okay, fine then. Bye. Lesson 53. Making a doctor's appointment. Hi, I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes, today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach is really hurts. Please wait a moment. I will see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably is going to be about another 20 minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your medical card, please? Sure, here you are. Thanks. That's going to be 400 rupees for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. How will you pay, ma'am? I'll pay in a cash. Thanks, ma'am. Please, ma'am, have a seat and fill out these forms and bring them back to me when you're done. Lesson 54. Mail. Hi, Maria. Did you get the mail yet? Yes, I picked it up this morning. There were few bills and a letter from my younger sister. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? Indian Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? Sure. What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up anytime. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure, when? I think we should go now. 
I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay for you? That's fine. Lesson 55. I have a cold. How are you feeling? I still have a cold. Still? It's been over a week now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while. I started feeling this way last Saturday. Are you feeling better? A little. I took some medicine this morning and I feel a little better now. What's wrong? I have a bad cough. Did you go see the doctor yet? Not yet. I might go tomorrow. I'm going to the medical store now. Can I get you anything? Yes. If it's not too much trouble, would you get me some tissues? Sure. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. If you think of anything else you'll need, give me a call. Okay, thanks. Lesson 56. Dinner Invitation. Hello Joe, it's good to see you again. Hi Jenny. Are you here for work? Yes. Is Mark with you? No, Mark couldn't come this time. How long will you be staying? Five days. I'm going back on Sunday. My sister and I are getting together for dinner. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, that would be nice. I have a meeting in an hour. I can meet you afterwards if that's okay. The meeting shouldn't last long. That's fine. Who is your meeting with? Mr. Albert's company's CEO. Okay, I'll call you when my meeting is over. Okay. Can I use your phone? I left mine in the car. I want to call them to get directions. Sure. Here you go. Lesson 57. Send me the directions. Hello. Hi, Jenny. It's Albert. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Where are you? I'm in the car driving home. Okay. When you get home, will you send me an email with directions to the party tonight? I don't know. Maybe in 20 minutes or so. There's a lot of traffic. I have to go out soon. Can you just send me a text message with the address instead? Okay. I'll do that as soon as I get home. Thanks a lot. Drive carefully. Okay, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Lesson 58. Bad cell phone reception. Hello. Hi Maria, it's Jenny again. I want to talk to you something very important. What do you say? Hello Jenny, can you hear me? I said, I want to talk to you something very important. Sorry, I can't hear you. Hello Jenny, can you hear me now? No. Not very much clearly. It's really noisy here. It might be my cell phone. I don't think I have a very good reception. Oh, that's okay. Can I call you right back? Okay. Lesson 59. Going to the gym. Joe, what should we do today? I've been studying all the week. Now I'd like to do some exercise. I'm also so tired. Let's go to the gym. Good idea. What are we going to do there? We can play badminton or we can lift weights. I like to play badminton. Are you good at it? Not really, but I like to play. I used to play a lot when I was in school. But now there's no time. I also used to play tennis a lot. Do you think we can play tennis there? No, there's not enough space. I have an idea. Why don't we go out and play instead of going to the gym? Wonderful, very idea. Let's go. Not now. Why? It's too cold outside today. Let's wait until the weather gets little warmer. Till then we play some indoor games. Okay, fine. Lesson 60. Car accident. Jenny, are you alright? I'm fine now, but I had an accident yesterday. Are you hurt anywhere? No, but I have a little scratch on my arm. What happened? The car in front of my car suddenly breaks and my car goes into his car. Were the people in the other car all right? Yes, they are fine. I wasn't going fast. Were you wearing a seatbelt? Yes, of course. I always follow traffic rules. Did the police come? Oh yeah, I called them immediately, right after this happened. Can I get your car fixed? No, I sent my car to fix it this morning. Okay, now you should take some rest. I see you later. Bye. Bye. Lesson 61. Doctor's Visit. Hello, doctor. Hello, ma'am. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling well. What's bothering you? I have a high fever and a sore throat. I think there is also cold and cough. Anything else? No, doctor. Okay, wait. Let me check you. Where is the sore throat? From here. There is a swelling inside your throat. I think you have a virus. 
It might be the flu. I'm going to give you some medicines. It'll be fine in a few days. What work do you do? I'm an English teacher in high school. Oh, that's great. Try to get some rest and be sure to drink lot of water, little warmer. Okay, doctor. Thank you. Lesson 62. Making a hotel reservations. Hello, Mahal Hotel. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. For which date? It's the 16th of November. How many nights will you be staying? Three nights. What are the charges for a room? It's 4,500 for a night plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. Your name, ma'am. Mrs. Mark Johnson. How will you be pay? Online payment. Okay, ma'am. The room is booked for you. Excuse me, can you please decorate the room with some red roses and some candles? What's the occasion, ma'am? I want to surprise my husband on his birthday. This is his first birthday after our marriage. Sure, ma'am. No problem. Anything else, ma'am? No, thank you. Okay, ma'am. You're all set. We'll see you on November 16th. Okay, fine. Have a nice day, ma'am. Lesson 63. I changed my mind. Hi, Mark. What would you like to do after watching this movie? I don't know. Maybe playing cricket with my friends. That's the good idea. After that we'll go to my parents' house. I don't think after that I want to go anymore. What do you mean? You said today we'll go. I know, but I changed my mind. Then, when do you think we'll go? Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow. But your work. Don't worry about that. I've one more holiday left. Oh, that's great. Then we will spend the whole day there. I call them and inform them that we'll come tomorrow instead today. Okay then, would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have signals. Are you kidding? I usually have very good reception here. Since this morning my phone has a problem, so it's not working properly. Can I take it outside? Sure, it works well outside. Lesson 64. Do you want to play a game? Hi Joe, would you like to play a game with me? Okay, what kind of game do you want to play? Let's play Ludo. Do you know how to play? Yes, that's a very easy game. I don't want to play this game right now. Okay, no problem. Can we play Scrabble? Do you remember how to play? I think so, but you're going to explain me the rules once again. Okay, look at this paper. It has all the rules on it. Okay, I remember now. Last time when we play this game I won and you lost. Am I right? Yes. That was fun. Okay, let's start the game. You play first. Okay then, let's play. Lesson 65. Birthday present. Come Maria. Hi Jenny, happy birthday. Thanks. Many happy returns of the day. Thanks, Maria. I can't believe that you remembered my birthday. Yeah, of course, I remembered. I have a calendar in my phone. It helps me to remind every important date. Please. Have a seat. Thanks, Jenny. This small gift is for you from my side. Oh, what's that? Thanks. Wow, it's a mouth harmony. How do you know I want this for a long time? Thank you. You are welcome. Do you know how to play this? Yes, I know. My music teacher taught me when I was in school. Will you play this for us? I know, you have a very sweet voice. I want to listen to some music. Okay. Lesson 66 checking into a hotel. Hi. Hello mom, how may I help you? Do you have a room available for a night? Please wait mom, let me check. Sure. Yes mom, the room is available. What are the charges? It's 5000 per night including tax. Do the room have an internet access? Yes ma'am. How many people you are? One. Would you like single room or mini suite? Mini suite, please. Should I book the mini suite for you? Yes, please. How will you be paying? Online payment. Okay, ma'am. Please take the keys. Which room? Mini suite no 549. Third floor. This way, ma'am. What time is for checkout? It's 12 p.m. Would you like to rest for a while or should I send the food in the room? No food yet, but I need a cup of coffee. Please send it to my room. Okay, ma'am. Thanks. Have a nice time, Mom. Lesson 67. 
Sending a package. Hello, mom. How may I help you? I'd like to send this package to Mumbai. Okay, ma'am. How would you like to send it? Express delivery or a normal delivery? What's it means? This means how soon you want to deliver your products. Express delivery takes near about 3-4 days, whereas normal delivery takes more than a week. An express cost is a little higher than the normal delivery. It's very important. I have to send it there as soon as possible. So, I choose express delivery. Okay, what are the contents? I mean does your package contains valuable good. They are very much valuable. No problem. We have some boxes and bubble wrap here. Oh great, could you help me to pack this? Sure, please wait a minute. By the time, please fill out this form. When you are finished come back to window number 5. Okay, I think I'm done. Is this all correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, here is your package packed. Let me wait and measure your package. Then I calculate the cost for you. Its weight is near about 1.5 kilograms. How much for this? It costs 980 rupees including tax. Please, do your signature here. Do you need anything else? I would also like to post this letter. Do you have stamps? No, I haven't. Do you need to buy it? Yes. Stamps cost rupees 50 only. Your total amount is 980 plus 50 equals 1030 rupees. Oh, I think I forgot my wallet in the car. I'll be right back. Here you are. Thanks for your help. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for using our services. Lesson 68. I have allergies. Good morning, Grandma. Very good morning, dear. You didn't come to see me in my room last night. I'm worried about you, Jenny. I'm sorry, Grandma, but I was not feeling well so I went to bed early. What happened, my dear child? What's wrong? Are you alright? No, Grandma. I had a cold and cough and my eyes were really red. Oh, are you feeling better now? Yes, Grandma. Much better than yesterday. Do you have any allergies? I don't know, Grandma. Today I'm going to get a checkup from the doctor. Do you want me to go with you? No, Grandma. I'll go by myself. Thanks for asking. What time did you wake up this morning? 10 a.m. Do you have any tea or coffee? Should I make for you? No, Grandma. You take rest. Thanks. Are you going to work today? No, Grandma. I think I'll just stay home and take some rest. If any need, I can work from home today. Okay, dear. Get some rest. I'll bring over some food later. Okay, Grandma. Thanks. Lesson 69. Listening to music. What are you listening to? I'm listening old songs in the radio. I know that, but what happened to you today? What happened? You are not listening your devotional music today. I turned on the radio listening to devotional music. But when I turned on the radio, this song was already playing. My old memories are refreshed as soon as I hear this song. What kind of music do you usually listening to? I listen to everything, but I love to listen sad songs of Rafi and Mukesh. Both are my all-time favorite singers. Do you remember those days when we used to go to see them in our neighborhood studio? Oh yes, yes, now I remember. I love those days. How much time has changed now? Yeah, you are right. Time has really changed. Lesson 70. Taking a cab. Hello ma'am, are you booked my cab? Yes, please. Do you have any luggage? It's just a suitcase. Okay, I'll put this suitcase in the cab. Okay. Where are you going ma'am? The Queen's Resort. I think there are two in Chandigarh. Which one are you going to? Which one is on Golden Avenue? Have you ever visited Chandigarh before? Yes, I've been here many times before. I always come here for work. Do you know how long it will take to reach the resort? It won't take long to get there. It's probably near about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Listen please, if there is a flower shop on the way then stop there. Do you want some flowers? Yes please. Lesson 71. We're not lost. Would you mind driving a little faster, please? What happened Jenny? I don't know, but can't understand anything. What do you mean? How long we've been driving, but there is no way to get out from the town. We've passed this same bridge four times before. I think we're lost. We should ask someone for directions. No, we are not lost. 
I've never gone this way before. Do you know where we're going? Yes, this road goes through city. Okay then, let's go to this route. Joe, are you hungry? No. But I'm very hungry. We should stay at some nice place to eat and rest for a while. Sure, no problem. Let's go then. Lesson 72. Help me to find my purse. Jenny, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. What happened? I can't find my purse. Can you please help me to find it? Sure. No problem. I help you in finding your purse. Thanks. When was the last time you saw it? I had it when I went to the store this morning. Do you think you've left it at the store? No, because I came home and gave money to the maid. What color is it? It red in color. Is it big one or a small one? A small one in which I keep my cards and some money. Which room did you go to first after coming home? My room. Did you see it in your room? Yeah, I already looked there. Did you look it in the living room? Yes, I saw it there too. Oh, I'll look it in the lobby. Did you find it? No, it's not here too. Look here, is this your purse? Yes, that's my purse. Thanks. Where did you get it? On the sofa. Ooh, thanks Jenny for helping me to find it. It's okay. Lesson 73. Taking pictures. Joe, will you take a picture of mine? Sure. Make a nice pose. Wow. What? Am I looking good? Yeah, but I'm talking about this camera. This is really nice camera. Where did you get it from? My friend gave it to me on my birthday. How do you use it? This is an automatic camera. You just have to focus the view you have to take in and press this blue button only. Wow, that's so easy. I like your camera. Thanks. Now take a nice picture of mine. Of course, definitely. Are you ready? Smile please. Lesson 74. Making suggestions is easy. Hi Joe, what's up? Have a seat. Thanks Jenny. What are you preparing for brunch? Pizza and pasta. You can't cook this. But why? You know that? I'm trying to lose my weight. Oh, relax dear, it's not for you. It is for the guests who are coming in the evening. Who's coming? My friend is coming with her children. Joe, do you like cooking? Why don't you cook dinner for me sometimes? Ooh, I love cooking, but I can't cook every day and what about you? Do you like to cook? No, I don't. But I'm the only one who knows how to cook in my family. Do you know how to cook noodles? Yes. Can you teach me how to make noodles? Yeah, sure. Anytime. I love baking cakes. Oh really? Can you make a cake for me a day after tomorrow? Sure, any special occasion. Yes, it's my roommate's birthday. Oh, that's great. Lesson 75. Chat with new friends. Hello, I'm Maria. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, this is a room. It's really beautiful. Yes, it is, but it's very hard to clean it. Can I put my things in the room? Sure, let me help you in this. Oh wow, how nice. What? I like your bag. By the way, your accent is very clear. Where are you from? I'm from Delhi. And you? I'm from Chandigarh. Do only two of us live in this room? No, one more girl. Her name is Elia. Where is she? She has gone to attend her class. Lesson 76. What can you do? Hi Mark, is that you? Hi Jenny. You look very different. What's wrong? Why are you so upset? I lost my job. Now, I don't have any job. Oh sorry, I can't hear you. Could you repeat it please? I said, I do not have any job now. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't have any skills. That's not true. Everybody has a skill. You only need to find yours. No Jenny, I don't know anything. Can I help you something in this? You, how you can help me? Or, maybe you can help me. Can you drive? What drive? What do you mean Jenny? I mean drive a cab or drive a bus. You can also do a driver's job at someone. No Jenny, it's not easy for me because I fall asleep while driving. You can be a teacher in a school. Or, you can teach children at home too. No Jenny, I can't teach too. Okay then, can you cook? Are you good in cooking? 
If yes, then you can be a chef at the restaurant or at someone's house too. I told you Jenny, I don't have any skills. I can't do anything. I'm going to write my feelings in my blog. Hold me, hold me. Sorry to interrupt you. What did you say? You write a blog. How many followers do you have? I don't know, maybe. 876,548. Mark, what are you doing? That's a lot of followers. You can make money by writing. Oh yeah, writing is so easy for me. Thanks Jenny. You helped me a lot. Lesson 77. Can you come to the party? Hi Jenny, my friend is having a party on Saturday. Can you come with me? Sorry, I can't come with you. I have to go to the hospital with my aunt. Will you be busy all the day? I don't know. But you will go to the hospital during the day, don't you? Oh, yes. The party is at night. Oh, then I come with you to the party on Saturday night. Great. I have to help my friend for the party. Can you help us? Sure, that sounds great. In the party everyone has to bring something or do something. Can you bring food? No, you know that I have no interest in cooking. Okay then, can you perform something? Yeah, it sounds like a fun. There is one thing I can do. I think, you can sing at the party. Yes, that's it. Okay, I have to go to shopping for food. Can I help you? I'm free right now. Sure, let's go. Lesson 78. Meet my family. Jenny, here's your coffee. Thanks. What happened? What's wrong with you? I'm thinking about my family. Right now I'm feeling homesick. Do you want to talk about it? Sure, I have some pictures. This is my dad, my mom, my younger sister. That's my granny. She is so adorable. I'm so attached to her. I really miss my family. Who is that in this picture? Oh, that's my aunt. She is my mom's sister. She loves cooking. Who are they? They are my cousins. They are my aunt's daughter and son. Thanks for showing me your family pictures. Your family is very different. How do you feel now? I do feel better. Thanks for listening. Oh, it's okay. Welcome anytime. Lesson 79. A long time ago. Hello Maria. Hi Jennifer. Have a seat. Thanks. This was a very good idea. What? Working outdoor is very good idea. Oh yes, it is. Today I was so tired. It was a very busy day at workplace. And I still have some more work to do. Oh, that's too bad. How are you these days? I'm really busy too. Jennifer, let's get to work. Maria, look. That bus has a poster of circus. That's an advertisement for the circus. They are in our city now. They have many different new shows. I love circus. Do you know Maria, that circus reminds me of something. What's that? When I was a little girl, I'm a very fun loving child. Oh, I can believe that. I was tall, and I laugh all the time. In the playground, I always play silly games with my friends. We played with dart guns, we played on the swings, on the slide, and on the seesaw. We also played with ball. There was so much fun in my childhood. But now everything has changed, time has changed, even me has changed. Don't laugh Maria, but in my childhood I wanted to be the president of India. I know childhood dreams are very silly. I'm sorry. Don't be, it's not silly. Guess what? I wanted to be. What? When I was a kid, I studied about the stars and planets. I wanted to fly into outer space. I know Maria, childhood dreams are very important. They are, and it's good to remember them sometimes. Lesson 80. Are you free on Sunday? Hi Joe. Hello Jenny, what's going on? Not much. What about you? I'm very busy as usual. Hey Jenny, do you want to see a movie with me? Sure. I never have a time to see a movie. When? Are you busy this Friday at 7 p.m.? Just a minute. Let's see. Oh, I'm busy. I'm going to belly dance class with my friend. Belly dancing. That sounds fun. I'm still learning. But it is fun. Are you busy at Saturday night? Jenny, you know very well, I visit my parents' house on weekends. Oh yeah, I forgot. What do you and your family do together? We always eat together, and sometimes we play board games. Playing board games is too much fun. Right. Yes, you are absolutely right. The word game Scrabble is one of my favorite game. I'm not busy at Tuesday night. 
Are you busy? I'm busy on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday I'm going to jog in the joggers park with my friends. Do you jog? No, I never jog. I feel asleep while jogging. I never get up early morning. But I'll try because it's good for our health. Right. I always feel great after I jog. Thursday might be I'm not busy. Wait. Wait a minute please. This Thursday night I'll be busy. What are you doing on that day? I start music classes for small kids at home. On Thursday, I'm going to teach them. Maria the first think, we'll never have a time to see a movie. Wait a minute, are you busy now? It's Monday evening. This is always when I do my errands. Okay, but the new Star Wars movie gonna start in 30 minutes. I'll do my errands at some other time. Now let's go for the movie. Okay then, let's go. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Until next video.